There's no rules at camp, no counselors, but we do have two encouragements. Put down your cell phone a little bit more than you do. Um, and the second one is to not start any conversations with what do you do for a living. My name's Adam Tischauer, and I'm the founder and head camper of Camp No Counselors, which is a summer camp for grown-ups. Our conversations in the office are like, no, no, you can't do that in the slip and slide tomorrow because uh, last time when that happened, they got too drunk. Jesus, that was close. And this is like our business that we're talking about. People can be whoever they want at summer camp. So um, those people who work such long hours and have such serious, important jobs really get to be the opposite of that when they're here. There's not a care in the world. And I think the coolest part is that no one knows that that's their day-to-day -day job here. And so they can be vulnerable. And as adults, it's important to prioritize play. Um, and it's amazing to see adults regress back into being kids and just being silly and playing again, even if they have a beer in their hand. Now we're gonna go check in on some of the sports, make sure everyone's playing fair, but also having fun and being safe. Usually the campers get a rise out of playing with me and I love to play the different sports with them and the arts and crafts activities as well. We have dodgeball, which is always an, a, a battle with adults, not only on the court, but because everyone throws out their shoulder because they haven't thrown a ball in years. The bruises that come out of that game are, are great. Um, the, we've got the ropes course and, and some of the sports are very heavily athletic and some are very artsy like our you know friendship bracelets and tie dyeing. One of the other camp favorites is kickball. Um, there's a lot more and more adult kickball leagues coming up so people like to show their skills on the field. That, that's for the real athletes. Everyone runs so hard and is ex exhausted for the rest of the day. But the lucky thing is jump into the lake or the pool, grab a rosé and you're good for the rest of the day. I think the one unifying thing is that everyone here works really hard. Everyone is focused and driven and career oriented. We obviously have to do a lot of planning and preparing for each weekend leading up to camp. So me and the staff spend a lot of time and we over plan to make sure that the campers don't know that all of this magic that's occurring has actually been planned by us. A lot of adults are going through relationship issues or work-life balance things or family issues and to see them really focus in and forget about the seriousness of whatever is going back at home is everything. It's really fun to see relationships spawning out of the weekend and we just even had our first marriage um, from two campers who met uh, three years ago at one of our camps. I was working a ton like everyone in New York City does, you know, networking events in the evenings, weekends at the office, and I hadn't seen my best friends in a few months, which was crazy to me. And I created the first camp selfishly for myself and my friends to enjoy the experience that I remember as a kid. And sure enough, I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to do it again. And six months later, we did it again. And at that point, I knew that there was something special, something more than it just being a weekend getaway. It was something that was lacking, that people really needed that escape. And that's why I decided to go full time, make it a business. And now we've done over 44 camps since then in the past three and a half years. On a very regular basis, we kind of pinch ourselves that this is our reality, that we get to create memories and friendships on a weekly basis for so many people. And uh, obviously that means, means the world to me. It's an amazing feeling to have an idea and see that idea become a reality. Camp No Counselors is not just a party. It's not just kids camp with adults there. And it's not just a disconnection from technology and it's not just an escape from work. It's all of these things. And I've now been able to convert that into my full-time job. And that's why I have the best job ever. Woo!